Salvete Spectators, it's my supposed welcome back to Heart of Iron 4 Imperial Italy or it Italian Empire. Um, Italy pursues closer bonds with Germany. Okay, I think we accepted the. Yeah, we accepted the Axis invite from Germany. Or Germany accepted it, rather. So now the Axis has two members Italy. Who, uh, which has conquered Yugoslavia and Germany, which has annexed Austria. All right. Italy and Germany have expressed many conflicting interests. Blah, blah, blah. Austria and the Balkans. Great influence in Central and Eastern Europe. Yes, indeed. So let's have a look at our country. I did a break, so... I'm not completely up to date. We have a strong presence in... Africa Orientale Italiana and Libya Which has a lot of oil and rubber, which is quite nice um, Okay, so our war with Greece is imminent alas Let's have a look Italy is in Axis faction with Germany. Italy has goals against other nations This runs out in November 40. I'm pretty sure there will be a war before that and Italy has a non-aggression pact with Romania, Bulgaria and German Reich. Excellent. So these guys will get into the Axis eventually and hang... I believe all of them. Historically all three of them were in the Axis. We will have 150 power soon. So let's have a look. This is our main army. These guys are on the French front. Ooh, French, France has increased their army size. They have 25 divisions. And these guys plan a naval invasion. Wait a second. Greece has 90% national unity and we have here one victory point. 20 and 5. So it's 26 and he's one. That's less than 10%. So Greece should fall without taking great... great. Mm, I wonder if a uh, naval invasion into here and then here would be better. I think so. So let's let's have a look. We have one naval invasion here, and one one will go over here. I think we can only pick ten guys, so let's have another four, or maybe let's pick one of these. Ah, come on. And four of our huge army. One, two, three, four. Have another leader. This guy who has old guard, whatever. And do a naval invasion from, I guess, here to ah, crap. this province here. So we'll get behind the lines, can either attack here or attack the panzers. That's good. We need eight transports for that. Okay. So they should shift. Excuse me. Ooh, sweet. Yeah, this is just the event that fired because we took Albania. An ultimatum has been delivered to the Albanian government by Italian diplomats, demanding that they submit to completely to a complete military occupation. King Zorg has abdicated after realizing the futility of resistance. And Albania will now be ruled in a personal union under King Victor Emmanuel III. Italy looks to the Balkans. Okay. So there's some problem. Please just get over here. And the other four as well. Okay, the others are moving. Interesting. Maybe there was a problem with this fifth guy. I don't know. We have three civilian factories. How's our industry look like? We... Hmm. What do we lack? Oil, uh, a lot of steel and tungsten. Okay, we built this one factory. Then we should... Still not enough oil. Hmm. Let's build one more oil. In Tuscany. And put this up in the top. And then these factories, and after that we finally start with our military production. I'm a little bit afraid that I have not built any fighters at the moment. 
Okay, we have another government. Captain of Industry. We do not have a silent work workhorse now, do we? No, we don't. Military factory construction speed. A speed I will wait with that for the next 150 points. We have our big theorist. Fighting is not yet imminent. It's nearly one year away, or half a year, I guess. I guess. Industrial research time, not that important. Small arms, motorized artillery. Mm -mm. We want a tank. What are we researching at the moment? Soldati class, infantry equipment too. We do not have any tanks yet, do we? Okay, for the 39 tank we want a... Hmm. Yeah, we want to build our armies around this or around this one. Let's have a look. Is there a big difference? Uh, yes, there is. Hmm. I wonder. Breakthrough, huge difference. He's a little bit more expensive. No, he's so much better. This Saharino. Cliff here. Hmm. Okay, what else could we pick? Opinion is not really important. Effect of partisans could be interesting. Ideology opinion? Yeah. Conversion cost? Nah, that's not interesting. Let's have a look. What does a chief of army? Division defense, division recovery, division speed. Ooh, this is nice. I like that. Division speed is really good. Or what else could we pick? Submarine. Infantry division attack plus 5 and defense plus 10. That's nice. Cavalry. Okay, also for motorized. I think I'm gonna go with the speed. I like me some speed. These guys will go to the Greek front. And just whatever, take everything like this. We're not producing light tank, yes, I know, because I want to have all my. What are what's in training? Some infantry divisions, yes. What are we lacking? We will stop producing infantry divisions at this point. And have a look. We need more motorized and much more support. We're full on support, yes. Not so full on motorized. Artillery is already in the plus and also is infantry. Let's have a look. Um, do we want to change our divisions in any way? Support artillery is not interesting. I want something else. Because it, we have artillery right here. Maybe I want to add another artillery. That's very strong always. Let's have a look at our... Um, at some point I want to add these guys to our army, armored divisions as well. The Alpini will want field hospital and signal as well, but it, it's not a huge priority because we have so much lacking support equipment already. Hmm. So let's keep that as a reserve. I want to produce some fighters. Can I produce... Have I even researched? Ah, I'm researching it right now, sweet. The Saeta. I think I should wait for 1940 before producing any fighters. The Folgore seems much better. Yeah, it's, uh, it's simply the range is a huge difference. They will have naval uh, air superiority, the British especially, but... I will have, I hope, naval superiority and... just. just Army superiority, I should say. So what's Aust uh, Germany doing? Oh, sorry, so what's going on? Fate of Czechoslovakia, yes, they will annex these two states. And I think this one goes to Hungary and these two will become puppet Slovakia under German rule. Then there is one more. 
focus and then there will be... Oh, interesting. France has... Then there will be attack on Poland. France has already higher encryption. UK does not. Ooh, free civilian factories. Okay, now it's time to build military factories. That's for sure. Pump up Emilia Romana here. And at some point I also want to research... Okay, this guy has finished. I need military police for France. So I'm going to research that right now. Just going to check if there's anything else of importance. Yeah, I would need... Oh, I need all these. Especially these two. Encryption will already start... Uh, de no, decryption will already starting. Uh, Marines, not that important. Infantry or weapons on the way. MP and either maintenance or logistics. I have to look what's more important. Hmm. I need... I'd, uh, oh, the level 2s are already available as well. That's, that's bad. Interesting is also in the early stages of the war, uh, self-propelled artillery. Extremely strong against infantry for break, uh, not breakthrough, but for just crushing them. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I have to go for MP first. Pains me to not take the industry, but we will in 46 days so that our soldati class can finish. Um, what's going on with? Excuse me. Why? We're building a battleship and still some convoys. I want to reach around 300 convoys just for safety measures. Wait until a second Kyodulio. It should be finished before the war. So that's good. Let's have a look at our navy. Um, we have two fleets. Where are they? Oh, they're both patrolling in this general uh, region. These guys have... Sweet. They will build... No, no. Ooh, these guys are on the... Can I not appoint 10 divisions? So here are 5 divisions on this naval invasion and they should be ready to go. Yes. Um, I want these five here. Apparently that's not possible. Okay. So we'll pick this guy. And just assign them uh, him to this army. Go over here. These four have finished. Let's exercise. A lot of infantry equipment in the surplus. We will switch to infantry 2 as soon as possible. Uh, at the moment, I will stop and produce support equipment. 100 days, 200 days, yes. And I want more support equipment after that, so I will just change to this. Lost nearly all of our efficiency. But we'll lose it anyway when we change to Infantry 2, and at the moment I have a huge surplus, so that's that. Not producing... oh, low manpower. Yeah, Italy has that problem. We will change, maybe with the next law or the law after that, to get to the last acceptable manpower law. Extens uh, extensive conscription is, in, is okay, but... Um, service by requirement is a catastrophe to my mind, because factory output, construction speed, that's really bad. So we still have a war goal in Greece, but Greece is protected by both of them. So we will be in a classic war, Italy and Germany versus France, United Kingdom and Poland. Well, Italy has not joined the war until Poland has fallen and France was steamrolled. In reality, but we won't be that kind of guy. What the hell is going on? This always comes up. Okay, interim... Yeah, yeah, I know. Come on. Just that this pop-up goes away. The fate of Czechoslovakia. 
German troops have crossed into Bohemia and Moravia, Moravia, ostensibly to restore order to the regions in the wake of collapsing Czechoslovakian government. In Prague, the occupying forces announced the creation of an autonomous protectorate within the German Reich. With German support, Slovakia has been declared independent under the leadership of Josef Tiso. The nation of Czechoslovakia is no more, so these guys are of course not independent, they are a puppet. And I think they're in the Axis as well. Yes, they are. Okay, so Hungary is being encroached, but they got the southern Slovakia and Carpathian Ruthenia provinces out of the deal. So how many divisions does Germany have? What's going on? 148 to our 74, so they're much stronger than we are. We completed our German treaty. They will accept, I hope. We get the bonus to arm attack and synthetic resources, which we don't really need. Uh, okay, so what do we want to do next? Fortification effort in Sicily, Sardinia and Dodecanese is interesting. German military cooperation. Ooh, this is good. I want that as soon as possible. Then we can go for these two and then after that for the infantry, uh, for the army and navy trees. So all of that is blocked out. Because we didn't do this focus. Maybe we should have done that, but it's too late now. Through tight cooperation with the powerful German military, we can combine the best part of German efficiency and Italian innovation. We'll have a strategic advantage over anyone who dares face us. We get the doctrine research 5% and air doctrine as well, so this is very, very good. They will have to accept that, but I'm pretty sure they do. So I won't send any troops to Germany. They should be able to handle France on their own and Poland. I will invade Greece. Let's have a look. Yeah, they accepted the first treaty we proposed. We get two times an armor bonus and opinion changed a lot. Not that it matters. <laughs> These guys. will lack sufficient intel to dare send an invasion, so we can do that only when we have navies in the region. Okay, they are still training, that's good. What do we miss? We lack support, of course. So I want to pump these guys out first, so we get here priority up. Upgrades on low and reinforcements on medium, so they should get the production of the support first. 76 days, 150 days, okay. This should increase still because efficiency is going up. Alright. Nice, our Soldati class has finished. This is a level 2 destroyer class. And decryption has finished, excellent. I want industry. Uh, maintenance is good. Could do go for the second artillery. Still re researching armor operations, okay. Air, we'll do that eventually. Air doctrine, nah, I have to go for industry. They are waiting. So we get production efficiency cap plus 15% now and dispersed industry two ah three i'm sorry which gives say it's the same bonus all the way down so we will have a uh, factory bomb vulnerability minus 30 percent with that it's nice armored operations should finish before the war starts in 90 days uh, it's got it gets close but we don't have many tanks as of now our tank army will start rolling in with the 1941. 340 days. I wonder if we should research ahead of time. Research time will be reduced by 50%. Hmm. I'm, not, I'm not sure. Definitely gonna go for the M16. It, it even looks very cool. Okay, Germany is doing... Oh right, the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact to part Poland right in the middle. 
France still... Ah, extra research slot, okay, and issue gas masks, which increases the national unity. Reform Monroe Doctrine, okay. They're doing the American path now. Japan is still waging a war in China. I really hope they do not... It, it's, it's actually looking very good for China. Ah, for Japan at the moment. I think they can bust China. It's not guaranteed. It's, I think, to my experience, is around a 50-50% chance if they win or get defeated. Right. By the way, I'm running a just more sound pieces mod in the background. Why is there attrition? Bad supply. What the hell? Okay. Um, so stop this, guys. So this army will just put a front line over here. And then assault line. And this army will just be in the north. So they do not suffer attrition anymore, I have overlooked that. Need some still more oil. But we should be finished. Oh, we are. Oh, that's bad. Um, okay, never mind. It's, it's just for the, for the navy and that's not the big deal. Yeah. These guys are okay, but when the supply is concerned, yes. Okay, good. It's just Libya. I should have done the infrastructure effort. Okay. I need... So, have all, have all guys finished yet? Uh, one is still there. Okay. They should train as well. I need a few guys over here when the war starts. So, let's pick these four. And have a front line. Oh. Okay. So this doesn't work. That's bad. I wonder why there is no front line possible. Maybe I should do a fallback line. What the hell? Alright, just... I don't know, just go there. It, it, it counts as one. Okay, good. Works like a charm and offensive lo Huh. What the hell is going on? Apparently a front line does not... Uh, an offensive line does not work into Corsica. Oh, now it does. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, more free civilian factories. Build more military factories. Um, one oil refinery for first in Calabria. Put that up front and then more military factories. Veneto. Okay, should work fine. Maybe should have some armies as a defense line here for attacks from Great Britain. What's going on with you? Okay. Now I ha should have produced all the units I have. Yep, no units in basic training, I should say. Okay. Never mind. Low map. Actually, am I crazy or did our manpower increase? Ah, whatever. Okay, I think we will see war in the next episode. For the moment, I thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon.